Hi, this is Brian Gracely, and this is a follow-up set of videos to the ones that we did recently about cloud computing, but really those were all about the technology of cloud computing, so the architecture, the technology, some of the reasons why people are adopting cloud computing, but a lot about the technology, and we thought we'd make a series of videos as well to complement that that we more focused on an audience that's really business managers, because technology um, is a part of cloud computing, but it's obviously not the, the only piece of it. There are, um, obviously there's business aspects to this, and it's really important for business managers to understand of um, why cloud computing is, is important to their business, why it's important for them to understand aspects of it. We're gonna try and talk to these in a, in a business uh, set of terminology, so try and make sense for them. So the things we're gonna cover are a couple of things. We're gonna talk about, um, as you can see here, we're gonna talk about changing consumer behaviors, uh, whether that's internal users, the people on their sales force, the people in their marketing organizations, but more importantly, we're gonna talk about um, consumers, customers of theirs, right? What they're trying to do, how they interact with them, how they use technology, so it's why it's important to understand that. We're gonna talk about why their IT department is probably gonna become one of the more critical aspects of their marketing department. So there's a technology tie in there, so we wanna talk about that. We're gonna talk about building, purposefully building shadow IT and, and what that means. So um, we'll explain what that terminology means. Uh, we're going to talk about sharing business knowledge, so the idea that it may make business sense to take uh, intellectual knowledge that you have um, and share it with the world and why there may be value in doing that. We'll talk about how to uncover new markets, uncover new market research from the information that's going on both in the public space of the world as well as information that you have. We'll talk about, um, you know, changing IT budgets and, and how those are becoming CapEx. So if you're a business manager and you're saying, wait a second, IT is always about uh, uh, CapEx, and you're now going to talk to me about it as, as, as OpEx, okay, uh, you're confusing me, I, I understand what that means. And then finally, we're going to talk about um, some ways to rethink um, how IT is put together, and if you're a business manager, you may not care about that, but we're going to talk about why uh, maybe putting a fence around IT is going to help um, you be able to, to get what you want out of IT or out of technology, more importantly, uh, faster. So uh, we're going to cover these in different videos. Uh, apologize for the long introduction, but let's go ahead and cover the very first one, consumer behavior. Now, the reason we talk about this is because your customers, forget about how people use technology, but your customers, whether they are your business to business partners, your business to consumer partners, your partner partners, uh, people that you are suppliers and so forth, more and more and more, they're looking to leverage technology to be able to interact with you, right? And interact with you in a, a ton of different ways. Understand your product, find out from other people about your products, uh, learn about your services, try out your services. And so what's important about this is a couple of things. First and foremost, the things that they're using to access this are much different. Their smartphones, their tablets, they're less about physical devices and more about uh, or physically, uh, things in place, a, a, a desktop, less about maybe browsers even, they're more about applications. So what that means is you've got to think about how do I present to customers differently, right? How do I, uh, you know, 60% of people that are going to interact with you have gone down, 60% of the sales cycle of how they're going to interact with you is done before they even start talking to you. So what does that mean? How does that change? Well, it means a couple of things. It means that you've got to have a strategy for dealing with mobile, right? It means you have to understand that mobile devices, whether they're tablets, whether they're smartphones, it's an iPhone, it's an iPad, it's an Android device, whatever that means, there's a different way of approaching that. It's about apps, it's about creating environments that are gonna be native to that device, so I've gotta make it touchable, right? Not just a website that you can access via those smart things. Also, you've gotta think about what does the ecosystem look like around your mobile strategy, right? Because people aren't just gonna find information from you anymore. They're not listening to you anymore, per se. They're not just coming to your website to learn about you, but they want to learn about what other people think. What are your partners saying about you? What's the community saying about you? Open communities, social media communities, uh, the press, and so forth. So you've got to be able to have ways to interact with all those things, and you've got to be able to deal with this from a scale perspective, right? You have no idea as good as your marketing, your research groups can do, you have no idea if your next device is going to be the next iPad, it's going to be wildly successful, it's going to be the next eh product launch, uh, but you have no idea what that scale looks like. So you've got to be able to build this idea of sort of variable, flexible scalability, flexible, close enough, um, 
into, uh, into your strategy, okay? So what does that mean for cloud computing? Well, it means a couple of things. First and foremost, it means if we talk about scale, you want to be talking to your IT organization or technology organizations, internal or external, about how are you going to scale, right? How are you going to deal with a product launch that goes that's wildly successful, right? Uh, how do you deal with uh, a mention of your product on um, some trade industry magazine or a, you know publication, a community, or so forth that becomes wildly successful? How are you going to deal with overnight scale? How are you going to deal with massive scale? So that's really really important to to consider. Now, do you care about the technology? No, but you do need to be able to figure out how do I go from 100 users, 100 buyers to 10,000, right? Orders of magnitude. So that's really important. That's a word you're going to hear all the time. The second one is this idea of what do I do with my ecosystem? Well, what this ultimately means is you better be prepared to understand that you don't control your message anymore and that cloud services, cloud technology services, whether they're social media like Facebook and Twitter and so forth, are going to drive a lot of the conversation. So how are you present in those spaces? How are you linking to those other services, right? How are you using um, uh, electronic interfaces, if you will, what are called APIs, to interface with those services so that you can learn, that you can push out information through all those channels, uh, whether they're communication channels, their data channels, um, and how are you getting feedback from them? Because the real-time information that you're able to take from all those services, from uh, you know how your product responds, how people respond to your product, what the communities are saying about those, the ecosystem are saying, uh, is all valuable feedback. Some of it may be good, some of it may be bad, but it's all valuable data that you can take in real time or that you can take in batches and be able to really look at and analyze much differently than you ever had before. And finally, you really have to understand, how do I, how do I leverage mobile, right? And, and think about it. If the information that you present to a customer was through a commercial, was through a magazine advertisement, was through a webinar, and they then have to write something down, go back to a web page somewhere, go back to their computer somewhere, they may forget that, but if they can immediately pull up a mobile device, a tablet, a smartphone, and be able to look up something about you, or more importantly, they can just grab your app, right, which is you, you presenting yourself, that's incredibly powerful, right? That's, a, that's the immediacy of having mobile, about having uh, information in your customers' pockets, in, uh, in a way that your customers can use that. So mobile ties directly to cloud. It's all about immediate information. It's about scalable information. It's about an ecosystem of how they're doing that. So being able to think about that, right? Think about how do I have information in my customers' hands all the time? How am I dealing with this interaction they have with lots of different sources, not just you, right? You're one of many and maybe only 10% of how they represent you or perceive you. And then how are you going to do that at a scale that's not only big, but sometimes scales back, right? You've got You've got uh, programs and projects and launches and, and, and interactions with customers that sometimes have to be huge, sometimes have to be small, but more so are going to be a lot of unknown. Right? So that's the really important piece of this. Now, does that matter about cloud computing technology? Yeah, there's stuff underneath it that makes these happen. But these are really sort of the three key buzzwords that you need to be thinking about because this is shaping how your customers interact with your products, how your customers are interacting with other people, uh, other potential customers on your behalf or indirectly on your behalf. How do you get information to them as quickly as possible? How do you help them learn about your product? How do you help them consume it, maybe as a demonstration, as a free trial before they buy? How do you deal with the ups and downs, the vagaries of the markets, the unknowns of the markets, and that interconnection between all these ecosystems? So thinking about these things as a business manager are going to lead you to the right kind of questions to uh, your IT department or any technology group you're working with in terms of cloud computing. So to keep these three things in mind, sort of a mobile strategy for immediacy of information, an ecosystem for how the information is shared, and scale in terms of being able to grow uh, up and down to match your business demands, your cost demands, and the market demands and market changes. Thanks, and I uh, look forward to, hopefully you'll uh, be willing to look at the rest of the videos. We're going to help walk through how all this technology really applies to your business and how you need to be thinking about it as a business manager. Thank you.